When I make tables, I like to round off the corners because, well, they're sharp and they hurt and it doesn't look good. So I make a template. Here's how I do it. First, I mark the angle I want on a piece of quarter inch plywood, and then I'm going to just cut off that corner. My arm's in the way, sorry, but you can see the corner. I'm just gonna round it on my oscillating spindle sander and just get a consistent curve. Any sander would work there. Back at the piece, I'm gonna line the two corners to the edges so that it's flush up against them. And I'm gonna use my DeWalt track saw clamps. I honestly use these all the time, mainly because they're strong and the top of it stays out of the way of my hands or any tools that I'm using. The next step is to cut off the leftover corner that's beyond the curve. I use my Japanese pull saw. Um, I just really like these. They work really well. They feel great. So now I'm left with that nice little edge. I'm gonna use a bearing bit. Uh, pattern bit in my trim router. So I'm just going to insert this into the trim router. You know, it's always important to know how deep you're putting that. Don't let it bottom out in case you don't know. I know people have done that. I'm putting that in. This is my rigid. I like this one. So I'm just going to put that in there, put the top back on, and I'm going to set it up so that the bearing rides on my pattern. And this is the easy part. I can go right around the corner, take off the sharp edges and smooth it out and it's perfect. What's nice is being able to take it off. I can remove everything. Now I can go and put that pattern on another corner and do all the corners of the table and have them all be consistent and look that good.